Hi guys, this is Pradeep. So today I'm going to add some more questions in asset accounting, but this time I will add some theory questions because uh, last time when I prepared some scenario questions, I got request that conceptual questions should be added. So as per me, a couple of uh, theoretical questions I'm going to add here. Maybe in an interview, these type of questions may ask. Now let's get started. The first question in my list, that is what is chart of depreciation and what do you understand about the depreciation areas? Combination, two questions are added here. Uh, first, we have to understand uh, what is chart of depreciation. Chart of depreciation, like it is list of depreciation areas, which is arranged according to some requirement, some business or some legal requirement. So uh, chart of depreciation area is managed various legal requirement and it should be allocated to your company code. So let's understand what are these. So that means when companies are going to uh, calculate their depreciation on different assets, so that time they need to calculate the depreciation as per the uh, maybe some business requirement point of view, as per the company law, as per the tax requirement, as per the international accounting standards, as per the local gap. So for different purpose, they have to calculate the depreciation for uh, different assets. And it, no one is going to calculate the depreciation manually in the system. Or uh, we can say that user in period end is going to run one asset depreciation report or depreciation calculation report, the transaction code AFAB. As per your calculation, as per your configuration, system is going to calculate the depreciation uh, for different requirement. And the list of all the depreciation areas is your chart of depreciation. Now here in this uh, example, you can see, this is my chart of depreciation, which is Z009. And this Z009 includes multiple depreciation areas. Now here you can see the different depreciation areas. And this one is my chart of depreciation. So that's why I said that chart of depreciation includes multiple depreciation areas and it has a close link or close connection with your depreciation areas. So what is depreciation areas? The method of calculation of depreciations. So we define that we are going to calculate the depreciation for company law. We are going to calculate the depreciation for our income tax point of view. But how we are going to calculate, what parameters we are going to consider, all these things will be included in our depreciation area. So that's why I said that it is method of calculation of our depreciation. Okay, so for example, uh, like in this example, you can say this is my depreciation area for one accounting principle wise. This is parallel accounting and parallel valuation. So last time, if you recall, uh, the previous questions, if you have not checked, you can check that video I will add in the uh, description. So like uh, we have calculate depreciation or we have capitalized the asset value as per one, two different depreciation areas or two different accounting principle wise. So how it was defined here, it is defined. So in the beginning, when we define the chart of depreciation, so here we have different depreciation areas as per different currencies. Now this one is for one requirement. This one is for another requirement. So that's why I can see here book depreciation IFRS, book depreciation IFR with a different currencies. Again, here we can categorize the number of real depreciation areas on number of information purpose depreciation areas. So as here I'm using two accounting principles. So two different depreciation areas I have included mainly as my real depreciation, which is depreciation area one, depreciation area 15. And Income tax point of view, as I have some separate requirements are there, so I'm going to add one more depreciation areas. Now in ACC, this concept was different. This is S4 system. So that's why here we have different requirements are there. So we, in ACC, we can't take multiple depreciation areas as your real depreciation area. So that is why we used to maintain the delta depreciation. Whereas in S4, that restriction is not there. So there is no concept of delta depreciation. So no period and calculations not required for the difference purpose. So we can take multiple depreciation areas as our real depreciation area. So in my example, you can see all my depreciation areas are uh, like 1, 15, 61, all my depreciation, real depreciation or real depreciation areas. So whenever I'm going to post any accounting transaction, so automatically I will have the GL entries. So asset is my sub ledger and simultaneously I will have the GL entries. So you can check this diagram. Uh, here it's showing that area post in real time. The moment there will be entry in sub ledger, immediately there will be ledger entry area post in real time with a different requirement with a different accounting principle and with a different ledger so you can see different ledgers also i have assigned here right so ledgers 
it is my ol or leading ledger this is my non leading ledger now for taxation purpose here i am not going to uh, capitalize my asset differently so whatever asset i am going to capitalize for my leading ledger wise so same rule is i am going to applicable or i am going to apply here but here the calculation will be different so it is a different depreciation area in my chart of depreciation so it is only depreciation posting so that means when user is going to run the depreciation so will be have three different depreciation calculations as per this example as were different different parameters and when you are going to combine everything so that is your chart of depreciation so i hope it is clear now what is chart of depreciation and the number of depreciation areas right now coming to the next question next question is what is account determination and the asset class again two combination of questions are there so what is account determination account determination just now uh, i said that asset accounting is working on sub ledger and ledger concept so it creates a connection between your asset master and its corresponding gr entry that means whenever we are going to have any sub ledger entry let's say we are going to purchase the asset so we, if we are going to purchase the asset so there will be one asset entry for example let's say there is one purchase entry that means we are going to purchase one asset which is my sub ledger let's say machine so we are going to purchase machine that is 100 or let's say 1000 so this will be my debit entry and it is going to update in my asset books of accounts which is your sub ledger and simultaneously we have 1000s or uh, uh, multiple assets are there multiple machines are there so all these machines we are not going to add in the balance sheet rather we are going to take all this combination as my apc account for plant and machinery and that will be uh, recorded against your plant account uh, your apc account for plant and machinery so the 1000 debit entry simultaneously you will find in your asset account now this is my machine account let's say machine is machine number x100 this is machine and simultaneously the same entry is going to update in my apc account so in balance sheet you are going to show this apc account just like a same example or similar example when we have business partners as well as your accounts receivable or accounts payable similarly the credit entry so the credit entry also going to be there in one particular vendor so this is your supplier so we are going to purchase the asset supplier credit entry and your ap accounts payable so this one is your ledger and this left side is your sub ledger so all these things are going to happen because we have so many gl masters will be there so those gl masters we are going to connect with your asset or sub ledger we are going to connect with your ledger so all these things are going to happen with reference to this account determination so for each type of asset we have to create one account determination right so it is you can assign this account determination because it is client level settings you can assign with multiple company code but it has to be there for example let's say we have 10 type of assets like machines building computer vehicle or uh, furniture fixtures then for all type of your asset categories you have to create different type of or each type of account determination so it creates a connection between your asset means your uh, your uh, asset master with through asset class it will be it will be connected so asset and gl so that whenever there will be any individual postings will be there with sub ledger because you are not going to post any debit entries to this gl account to the apc account but in balance sheet you are going to take this in account so what if question is what is account determination so account determination creates a link between your asset record or asset master record with its corresponding accounts in general ledger okay so this is how it will be there now what is asset class so this is your uh, next coming to uh, so asset account determination is known as your ledger and sub ledger combination whereas asset class is group of similar assets now you can see here all are your asset class right so here you can see building one asset class vehicle one asset class auc one asset class so whenever user is going to create asset master so under one particular asset class the asset master will be created okay for example let's say we have one asset class is 801 and a uh, or let's say 800 is my asset class so when we are going to create asset master so asset master will be created under 800 so when you are going to create asset master through as01 the first field you will find that is your 
asset class so asset class is the main criteria for classifying your assets so you can compare exactly similar way like when we are going to create our customers business partner we are creating the groups so we have overseas customers we have domestic customers so that's why we are creating different groups for classifying your customers similarly when we have different type of assets we can create multiple asset class and this asset class combines your account determination which just now i explained this come also includes your screen layout which controls your field settings it controls your number range so multiple things will be controlled by your asset class and when we are going to create any asset master so it will be created under one asset class so how many asset class we can create as per the need you can create multiple asset class next question what is depreciation key so a key which is used for the calculation of your depreciation amount so that means whenever because no user is not going to calculate any depreciation manually so it creates a direct link between your asset and your company code for the calculation purpose last time i said that it creates a link during our account determination i said that it creates a link between your asset master with the ledger so that is for the posting purpose now the depreciation key is used a link between your asset master and your company code for the calculation purpose so depreciation key is added in your asset master so in the asset master if you we'll go to the depreciation area last tab there you will find different depreciation keys will be there as per your uh, number of depreciation keys you have configured so there it will appear so for a different requirement where we are going to use a uh, different rate of depreciation whether we are going to use straight line method wd method base method right so as per the different need we can calculate multiple depreciation keys so there is no restriction how many depreciation key we can create for different different parameters we can create different depreciation key here you can see one example is there in the depreciation key so this depreciation key which i created in my chart of depreciation again this depreciation key also will be assigned under your chart of depreciation so under this chart of depreciation multiple parameters or multiple criterias i have included here for my asset depreciation calculation point of view like in this case you can say it is a wd method then here the rate of depreciation something should be there it is 10% i know it is 10% so that you are going to define in your multi level method so but the question is what is depreciation key so in depreciation key we are not going to define rate rather we are going to define here the multi level method which in a different step we are configuring so as per this depreciation key system is going to uh, post the uh, system is going to calculate these entries but the rate and other parameters will be defined in your multi level method so calculation point of view both are important depreciation key and your multi level methods is it possible can we assign a zero depreciation key it is possible let's say on auc we are not going to calculate any depreciation but if you not assign any depreciation key then asset master we can't create so that is why this depreciation key should be assigned with your asset class under your transaction code oayz so that user can create the asset master otherwise system will throw the error okay so this is all about your depreciation key so in every asset master record you will find the number of depreciation keys because as we are going to calculate different type of depreciation different rate different methods so that is why multiple depreciation keys need to be assigned to your asset class or asset master record next question how many depreciation areas can be defined for a company code the number of depreciation area is not it's a bit tricky question so the depreciation areas not defined for company code in the beginning i said that depreciation areas are created at chart of depreciation level so rather it is created at depreciation area level. i mean chart of uh, the number of depreciation areas are created at chart of depreciation level so that's why it has no link with your company code so if question is how many depreciation areas can be defined for a company code so there is no link between your depreciation area and company code so you should answer that 
depreciation areas are created under chart of depreciation of course chart of depreciation need to be assigned to the company code because every company code if you want to use asset accounting then it should be assigned with your chart of depreciation but depreciation areas are created under chart of depreciation and maximum you can define 99 depreciation areas under one chart of depreciation but practically 99 depreciation areas are not required hardly maybe a 10 depreciation areas you are going to add uh for example costing point of view one tax point of view one as per your multiple accounting principle depreciation areas you are going to add or uh, let's say uh, cost of production calculation point of view depreciation separate you are going to add so hardly you will get 7 8 or uh, uh, maximum 10 but option is there maximum we can define investment measure point of view you can add one more so um, but 99 maximum depreciation areas you can add here so if you'll check my first example here you can see how many depreciation areas i have so i have depreciation area 1 2 3 4 5 so five depreciation areas as i have added and at what level it is created it is created at chart of depreciation level this chart of depreciation i need to assign to my company code but all depreciation areas are created at chart of depreciation level <coughs> okay so the bit it is a tricky question be careful next question is how many uh, okay this one i already answered coming to the next question next one what is the difference between chart of account and chart of depreciation i already listed so many times about the chart of depreciation so i hope you got the one so as you know that chart of account is the list of gl accounts so we need to create for every company code we need to have a chart of account and that chart of account should be assigned to the company code you may use one chart of account for multiple company code but it is mandated to have and this chart of accounts are created with a specific requirements like it may be created globally it may be created country specific or it may be created for your operation purpose or industry specific as per the business need like for example let's say in our case country specific not required we can only go for group chart of account as well as the operational chart of account so that means industry specific as well as globally but chart of depreciation is always and uh, uh, it includes chart of account includes the list of gl whereas chart of depreciation includes the depreciation areas and most important chart of depreciation is only country specific so we don't have multiple options here like your chart of account so chart of account globally industry specific country specific whereas chart of account is country specific so that is why whenever you are creating a chart of account you never created there is no new creation option is there you may be adding different depreciation areas under your chart of depreciation but there is no new creation of chart of depreciation so always you are copying from the country template so if you are going to use us template or us requirement then that's why we are going to copy it i'm talking about is 08 transaction code so you are going to copy it from the us template if it is for india then you are copying from the india template if it is for germany then you are going to copy it from 0d so chart of account is always country specific whereas chart of account like as i said re different requirements so both are uh, going to be assigned to your company code chart of account need to be assigned your company code chart of depreciation need to be assigned to the company code and uh, but it has no link with each other and that is why whenever you are going to assign your gl account so first you need to specify your chart of account after that you are specifying your account determination because ultimately the gl accounts let's say fc account depreciation account your uh, uh, let's say retirement account any gl account you are going to assign so all this gl accounts you have created at chart of account level so first step that's why when you are assigning your gl account uh, integration between gl that step i am talking so first you are specifying your chart of account under that chart of account then after that you are specifying your account determination because account determination creates a link between your asset class and uh, Uh, your asset master as well as the particular gl okay so like this you should be very conceptual you should know the concepts so when you are doing the practice understand the logic on what basis uh, you, it is it is functioning or it is working and same thing you need to answer in your interview so there is nothing called theoretical or functional theory something hands on something different nothing just whatever you are doing the system configuration and uh, 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 your hands on same thing you are just going to answer in your interview only thing is when you are very clear about your hands on 
or you will practice a lot with different business process so that is why you need to answer it in uh, to the interview so there is no need to buy her the things even i if uh, once again if i will ask the same question i will answer in a different way or in a different language because i know the logic i know the concept so same also applicable for you so whenever you are going to answer any this type of conceptual theoretical questions first understand the logic business process and while doing the configuration just don't do the copy paste just you refer any configuration guide and we are doing instead of that understand the logic then uh, do the practice automatically this type of questions very comfortably you can answer if you have any questions recently let's say in interview point of view uh, please mail me so that i will add in my next video thank you take care